After more than a week off, the Panther volleyball team returns to action with a pair of road matches this weekend. Friday night, UWM will be at Loyola before Saturday's trip to Green Bay for a matchup with the Phoenix. The Panthers finished the first half of the league slate at a perfect 8-0, capped off by a come-from-behind five-set win over Valpo at the Klotchy Center last Wednesday. That 8-0 record has UWM just ahead of Cleveland State in the league standings. So far, so good for the Panthers. We're pretty excited. I mean, we, I think, have earned each of those wins, so it's kind of exciting that way. Um, and it's really cool to, especially in that last match we played against Valpo, um, to see what we're made of. I thought that was really um, a great feeling to like come back, especially after last year. But um, overall, we've been doing a great job, but we're not done. We're not like there yet. So it actually feels, it's kind of exciting because with that, we've come so far already and I know we just are going to keep getting better, so. The first half has been really successful. We, I think, having some younger players out on the court, they were kind of, they didn't know what to expect and everyone always plays really well against us and it's one of those annoyances, but I mean, we have to obviously deal with it, but I think we stepped up and we performed really well and we kept our focus, which we didn't have during the beginning of the season, during preseason. Junior outside hitter Elizabeth Egerer has battled through some early season injury problems to become a go-to performer on the outside for the Panthers. During UWM's last two home matches before their break, she had 13 kills in the win over UIC and then tied a collegiate high with 23 more kills in the five-set win over Valpo. I think I've done overall pretty well. It's been kind of hard to come back. It's kind of like hot and cold with the whole being injured thing, but lately it's been pretty well. I feel like I've been trying to hold my own out there. So Milwaukee's defense has been a big part of the Panthers' success so far this season. For the year, opponents are hitting just 166 against Milwaukee and just 138 in league play. Libero Morgan Potter is a big part of that. She won Horizon League Defensive Player of the Week honors for the second time this season, a little bit earlier this week. Her performance from the previous week included going past 1,000 career digs and 32 digs in the five-set win over Valpo. Well, I can't be any happier. I mean, we're 8-0 in conference. It's definitely a team effort, and I wouldn't be able to be so successful without my team, and especially being so doing so well on the block. Um, it makes defense way easier for me, and it's just a focus thing. I get in there and I just try and do as much as I can from the back row to help our team win. So, But all the success in the first half of the league slate for the Panthers does not guarantee success the rest of the way. In fact, Panther players are well aware they need to continue to get better to replicate that success and have themselves in position to not just claim the league regular season title, but win the league tournament as well. Well, we're never satisfied with how we've played. Um, I think one of the things we really need to focus on is continuing to play our game and not kind of slowing the game down to other teams' levels. Um, I think we definitely are going to work on some different types of plays and everything like that and just really focus on our game to really step up and really make a statement in the conference. I think right now we're just like, we're trying really hard just not to cruise. And we're just going to keep like each day working on each like, a bunch of different areas just keep getting better and better to be the best we can be.